can officially announce that the fifth wave of the pandemic is coming towards us very soon. Because none other than the queen, Nikita Dragon herself, will be releasing a new song this month. No, for real. What did we do to deserve this? I feel like this is my last straw at this point because not only have we been dealing with Addison Rae and Dixie D'Amelio creating mediocre songs, but in the next few months, we are also going to be dealing with Nikita Dragon releasing songs as well. Yeah, triple homicide. But I just don't understand the reason why I'm in shock that Nikita Dragon will be officially an artist now. Because we have never seen either Addison or Dixie having amazing singing skills, yet they decided to make music somehow to gain money. And that's why I feel like Nikita Dragon is looking forward too. Because this girl is not only a model, but she is also a YouTuber, a makeup artist, and even the CEO of her cosmetic brand, Dragon Beauty. Also, did I mention that she's an actor? as well. We can be dramatic too. Nikita. If you want to be dramatic, it's really not that Period. Anyway, if you thought the multi-talented queen Nikita Dragon took a break from surprising us with her amazing skills, well, you're probably wrong in this one. Because Nikita Dragon decided to shock millions of people this week after she teased her new song that she will be releasing very soon. And y'all, according to some insiders, the song will also feature a couple of huge artists as well. Here is a little teaser. Hey! <laughs> Damn, this girl also became a dancer. What the hell is happening? As Nikita Dragon started teasing her new song all over social media, she continued posting about it even more on her Instagram stories by making a choreography dance to it. And guys, she even had this to say about how she's been loving her dancing skills lately. You only fail if you stop trying. Y'all know I love making myself uncomfortable and dancing is the most uncomfortable thing for me. I just get so in my head since I suck. I mean, good for you, I guess, for being able to dance. But girl, are you gonna ignore the fact that you're actually releasing a freaking song? Because based on the videos I've seen, Nikita Dragon's singing voice is nowhere near perfect or good because, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty rough. And the fact that a lot of people have been making fun of Nikita's singing voice this month is really insane, not gonna lie. Because about a week ago, Nikita went on her Instagram stories to promote her new perfume. And well, instead of using her singing voice to promote her new perfume, she used her friend's singing voice while lip syncing over it. Dragon smells, dragon smells. Let's all smell with dragon smells. Come along and take my hand. Let's all smell in dragon land. OMG, y'all, not her voice sounding like the vegan teacher. Y'all, can you already imagine the amount of hate comments Nikita received because of this short clip? Because, well, so many people started making fun of her for being so insecure about her voice by pretending to be good at singing. Here's what they had to say. Sis, really thought we'd believe that's her voice? You shouldn't be dragging her for this. Maybe she's insecure about her voice. Can we cancel Nikita now? Cause I think this really pushed it to that point. I think we should just wait and see how Nikita will survive the hate train towards her when she releases her new song. But anyways, let's move on now to Kenzie Ziegler and her ex-boyfriend Isaac Presley, who got in some huge drama together on social media. It's been months since I talked about Kenzie or Isaac on my channel, but apparently they're both now beefing with each other again, despite being out of touch for almost a year. Pause? No, seriously, like who the F wakes up and chooses to fight with their ex on the internet? Anyways, this whole situation all went down this week, you guys, when Kenzie decided to post a very shady TikTok towards her ex-boyfriends, basically calling them out for hurting her really bad. What did I ever do to you? <laughs> after this video was posted, so many fans started leaving comments about her exes and how this video could possibly be about Kenzie's recent ex-boyfriend, Isaac Presley. Until Kenzie herself decided to throw a little bit of shade by acting confused in the comments about her ex, Isaac. When you dated Isaac, wait, who? They acting innocent? Like, bro, we all know. Mm-hmm. 
The real question is, what did they not do? Right? Not a minute after Kenzie responded with this, so many T pages started responding about the situation on all social media platforms, which led Isaac to stumbling upon the situation and making tons of comments calling out Kenzie for still being obsessed with him. Crazy how I was defended by her until after we broke up, then suddenly I did something wrong. I've literally never said one negative thing against her, and when I saw her in Taco on the 4th, we said hi to each other. This is just kind of unnecessary, TBH. I wish her nothing but the best. As soon as Isaac made these comments, the situation started getting really heated between Kenzie and Isaac after Kenzie's current boyfriend got in some argument with Isaac about the situation by saying this to her. Come on, bro. She has every right to say what she did. Bro, please shut up respectfully. You followed my ex, Raylan, before we started dating and you stalked her account more than I did. I don't think loyalty is really your thing to talk about. I wish you two the best. Let's leave it at that. Um, oops. Yeah. Kenzie's boyfriend shouldn't have involved himself, please. But actually, Isaac had high hopes that he was able to ruin Kenzie's relationship with her boyfriend by exposing him, but Kenzie did not stop throwing shade at Isaac by liking this comment about him. This hurts to watch, lol. Stop playing the victim. And y'all, this situation ended up making Isaac go on his Instagram stories and write a huge ass paragraph about the situation, basically saying how he has treated a lot of people badly, including Kenzie. And y'all, he even revealed how he was suicidal after he got wrapped up with an awful drug addiction which made him lose tons of friends and family members, including himself. But with that being said, here's how people responded to Isaac's Instagram story and, spoiler alert, they they weren't really positive. Not the guilt trip post. Don't get me wrong, I feel bad for him, but it low-key sounds like he's guilt tripping. He took that comment way too seriously. What kind of manipulative shit is this? Half of what he said wasn't necessary, lol. Anyways, let's finally end today's messy video with my queen, Nessa Barrett, who got bullied this week for being a pick me girl. Uh, what? I don't understand why people decided to attack Nessa this week for being a pick me girl when she has always been a pick me girl since she blew up on TikTok. And by the way, I'm not trying to be shady or anything because I feel like the majority of you guys already know Nessa's personality and how she tries to be different and unique than any other TikToker out there based on her fashion style, music, personality, and even the TikToks she posts on social media. But as people were already making fun of Nessa for being a pick me type of girl. This week, you guys, the situation went to the next level when Nessa got invited to do an interview to talk about her life in general. And of course, people were extremely annoyed and confused as soon as Nessa tried explaining how she's different from any other girl out there. I don't know. I think I'm just like a very broken person trying to live life. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like so different like yeah she's in a silly goofy mood I guess I definitely can't take her anywhere <laughs> unfortunately you guys this short clip gained millions of views in under 24 hours on TikTok with thousands of people making fun of Nessa in the comment section for being a pick me girl by saying she's different than the other girls. Take a look at what people had to say. Why is she talking like that? This just screams pick me, OMFG. She's so different. There's no way this is real. It's giving pick me, choose me, love me. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on people making fun of Nessa Barrett for being a pick me girl? Make sure to leave all your thoughts and opinions on today's video down in the comments below. I love you so much.